Hi guys, thanks for joining me for another drawing tutorial. I'm Mark and today I'll be drawing an M&M. Remember, you're in control of the video, so if I'm going a little bit too fast for you, it's okay, just pause the video and once you catch up and you're ready to go, just hit play to continue. And if you don't feel like drawing and you just want to color the M&M in, go down in the description below, click on the link and you can download a free coloring page of the M&M that I'm going to draw for you today. Don't forget to watch at the end of the video. That's when I color in this M&M. All right, here we go. So I'm going to begin with the overall body shape. We're going to have two legs with some feet at the end, some shoes. So we'll draw this egg shape right about here at the top of the page. So we'll come down. It's going to be a little bit pointier at the top. And as you come down, it's going to be a little bit wider at the bottom here. And I'm using a pencil because that way I can erase my lines and won't have to worry about anything. So it's gonna come up and you're gonna come down. It's gonna just kind of like round like this. So see, when, if you use a pencil, it's great because then you don't make any mistakes and you have to scrap the page and use a new page. All right, so here's our egg shape. And then right over here, we're gonna do two eyes. So I'm gonna do these eyes that are flat at the top and then it's going to be round at the bottom like this. So we'll do one and then we'll do a second one like that and then he's looking over to his like to the right side of the page so the center eyeball shape will be kind of like this okay and then you could put this like highlight in the corner. So I'll just put two, two round shapes. All right, and then there'll be kind of like a eyebrow thickness here at the top of the eye. And now for the mouth, the mouth's gonna have a curved shape. So I'm gonna start with like this little dimple over here on the right side. And I'm gonna come up and then down like this. And then I'm gonna end with a dimple on that side. It's gonna be kind of like, kind of like smirking over there. And then on this side, we'll put a close line here. And as you get down, it's gonna get a little bit like wider like that. And then you could put a little shape on either side like that. Okay, now at the top, I'm gonna to do these two eyebrow shapes. So I'm gonna do a shape like this that's coming out over the actual M&M shape. So we'll do one on both sides like that. And now we're gonna do the M in the middle of his body. So for this, we'll start like, I'm just gonna do these three lines like this. I have those kind of like evenly spaced out. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna draw like a thickness on either side of this, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this arch like that and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do the same thing, this thickness here. So this will be the center point, the center line. I'm gonna do another arch like that. And then I'm gonna to try to match the same thickness over on this side. So that was a little bit off, but it's okay. And then what I'll do is above these arches, about the same thickness, we'll kind of do this arch like this. And then we'll do another one like that. And this will just keep turning because that's the part of the M there. And then once you get to here, this will come up and then we'll come over and on this side, where this arch is, we're gonna come over like that, and then we'll come down. And then down here, we'll have this arch come that way, and this way, and then we'll come down, and then we'll draw a line straight across like this. So that'll be our bottom of the M. 
So this side is going to come straight down and then on this side it's going to have this same hook. So same starting point there, we'll curve over, come down, and we'll do the same on this side. This piece will come straight down and then right where this hook starts here, we'll hook this over and then come down. So there's our M. Hey guys, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So please help us out and click that subscribe button down below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks. All right, now let's draw some legs. So I'm gonna start on this side here. I'm gonna, and this will be the inner part of the leg. So I'm gonna kind of bend this way, and then I'm gonna bend it down. And I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to kind of go like this. It's going to get a little bit wider as you get to the bottom. So see how it's narrow up here and it gets wider down here. And now for the shoe, I'm going to create this curve that kind of rounds like this. And then it's kind of like a little hot dog shape, just like that. And then this will connect like that. So it's kind of going around the back. And then we'll have the heel portion. So we'll have this come down like that. And then right here, we're going to go over to the left, down and over to the left. And then up here, we'll have like this one bump and then a second bump that gets a little bit bigger and it comes down. So that'll be the toe. And right where this bump is, we'll have this come over like that. <clears throat> then we could put another curve right there. And then we'll add this thickness for the outsole, like the rubbery part at the bottom. So we'll just follow this shape over and this will kind of hook and come back like that. Okay, so that'll be his one shoe. And we'll kind of mirror this on the other side and do the same on the other side. Now on this side, this shoe is going to be a little bit different. We can come up and down like that. And then we'll have this just have a little follow a different curve shape. Because this one's going to be sideways. This one's going to be a little bit more pointed towards us. So down here where the heel is, you can kind of do the same type of heel. And now instead of this bulge here, we're just going to come like this and come right across over and then down like that. So this line is going to come forward more and then it's going to kind of like cut across like that. And then over here you'll have like that little bump and then the rubber piece will come forward and cut across like this. There you go, so there's the other shoe. I'm just gonna go and erase this piece. All right, now for the arms and the hands. I'm gonna have one hand over here, and I'm gonna start right about where the M is, and I'm gonna do this hooked shape like this. It's kind of curved like that, and then kind of comes down. And then the thumb is going to be over here pointing down to the left. So we're going to come down and then we're going to hook this up and we're going to have one finger kind of coming down. It's kind of like rounded like this. It's going to come up. I'm going to have another finger right here. It kind of comes down and then comes up and we're going to have the last one that's like right here. And then this one's going to kind of come and then you're going to have like this little bend right there. And then all we need to do is we can, if the body's right here, we will have a shoulder right about where the mouth ends over here. Same height as that. We can come in and we'll come down. And then from here, this arm will come out and then it'll bend right in there. They have like a little bit of a shadow inside there. So that's one arm. And then we can go over to the other side. 
and right around where this is here will come down a little bit and I'll create this round shape like this and then the thumb's going to come kind of straight down so we're going to have a curve to the left and then we're going to bend it like that to the right okay so that's going to be the thumb and the thumb's going to come over like that then we're going to have one finger curved like this and then this is going to come up and then what we can do is we'll do another one and this might be a little bit too long so I'm going to shorten this thumb a little bit shorten that thumb I'm going to shorten this finger just a little bit something around there this finger is going to be a little bit too long and then this third finger is going to extend and come up like that and then the fourth finger is going to kind of be tucked and bent like this and then it's going to kind of come straight in like that and you can create these like little round shapes you can kind of do the same over there just like that and then for this arm this one's going to come like this and then we could actually create the palm over here so we'll see like the inside of the palm and then we'll come up like this and for this shoulder we're going to end right about the same height as over on the other one so somewhere about here and this one's going to kind of come out you see more of a shoulder and then it's going to do something like that all right guys i just finished penciling in this m m now i'm going to go and use an ink pen and outline the m m and then after that i'll go ahead and use some colors you can use whatever color you want i'm just going to do, use a blue one i like blue so i'm going to do a blue m m right but if you want to do red yellow orange it's up to you pick whatever color you want and just change the blue to whatever color you want, all right? All right, I'm gonna use my eraser and start erasing some of those pencil lines I don't want. And then we'll use our markers to color our m, &M in. Now remember, you guys can color in whatever color you want. You don't have to use blue. You can use yellow, orange, pink, whatever color you want to do your m, &M. All right guys, I just finished coloring in the M&M. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like my channel and don't forget to subscribe. That way you can see all of my videos that are coming up. I do them every single day and I don't want you to miss any single one of them. All right guys, until tomorrow, see you then, bye-bye.